Today's actually insane. We have to get 700 likes because I'm at all for the news that we actually got today. So there recently have been some Koro Koro leaks. Uh, my source uh, for my information is the Voca project. It's the site I, I used before with Phoenix and Achilles back in Joe Z. Pretty reliable source. So get this. Get this. My prediction partially was true. Odin is returning to Beyblade Burst GT. Uh, it's an evolution. Odin has... We, we are, I remember we saw the silhouette, it was at the World Hobby Fair, it was two Dragon Bays and then one Odin, and I said it was Odin. But we were confused because Union Achilles also had two swords. It's Odin. So the name that the site says is called Knockout Odin. So, it's very interesting for that name. Now, the Vocal Project does indicate, it does say that there's an inclusion of metal. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means part of the sword is gonna have metal. I do find it funny though, that that means that the lair has metal, yet Union Achilles has no metal on it. I don't think they're, I don't know what it means. If they're actually, if there is metal, that'll be, make it interesting. It'll basically be what Achilles could have been. I don't know. Now, uh, what I will say is that there is the gen weight on this, which is very interesting. That means now, if we didn't get the original gen weight, that was at like a G whatever tournament, and you didn't get it at the Bahamut, that means with this random lair collection, which random lairs are pretty cheap, well, actually, this is the prize lair to be fair, but there's a gen weight. We don't know what else is in the random uh, lair collection. There's three other lairs that have to be revealed. I will do a report on that later when info comes. I'm so happy to see Odin. Like, I'm kind of tired of them doing all these, like, dumb dragon bays. Like, if you're not gonna do anything like that, at least, like, give me something, either an evolution or something new. Looks beautiful, I love it. I actually was really a fan of Obi Let's Go Odin back in the day. Uh, there's no stock combo for this. I don't think this will be in the anime. It looks like just something nice that they made, like Lord Spriggan, for an example. But, uh, yeah. So, there are two new dragon bays. So, they kind of got weird names. So, I'm gonna try to go through this. But actually, here's what they are. Now, there is Regalia, Genesis, and Prime Apocalypse, or uh, Apocalypse Prime, whatever. Whatever order you say it in, these are these two Dragon Bays right here. Now look at this very interesting quote. All legends also begin and end. Two machines that push the GT to the end and connected a new generation are now born. What does this mean? Right? That's what everybody... Now I was thinking about that too because like, darn, that's, a, that's like a pretty interesting quote. What this probably could mean is that maybe if GT is the last season, that could potentially mean that the next new generation of Beyblade will be closer than we thought, and will use and will adapt the last system that uh, Burst has into the new base. Or it's all fancy marketing PR talk, and it's just like, oh, look at how cool we are. We got some cool bays. Uh, so these bays are gonna be incredibly bulky, and I believe these are the ones that have the electronic driver, right? I so. Now, that is going to be interesting. No, I don't know what that driver is yet. We got nothing else revealed except uh, for this one right here, the white dragon. I'm still annoyed that there's a dragon. I don't know why they can't think of a different avatar. Really weird. You can notice that the core in the middle looks like metal and it looks like it has sort of, it's sort of like built like Lord Spriggan in a way. I don't know. These bays look like him. Uh, if Lord Spriggan almost killed the metal, I think these bays might kill the metal. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but God, look at how bulky it is. All right. So that was some pretty crazy news, but we got another one, which is the prize bay for the random booster, Tact Longinus. So the random booster that's gonna be coming out in October, I don't know when, mid-October probably, that's when they usually do boosters, is going to be tacked Longinus. Now I'm a little bit annoyed, we are still not getting new chips. It's just the same old ones. This is probably gonna be a left-only base. Now, quick thing to cover, by the way, it's uh, that uh, the Achilles disc is called Convert CN. So if you're wondering what it was called, I put it there on the bottom if you're wondering. So, the parts for this new Longinus is 12, Expand, and Trans-Dash. And the weights, uh, I believe it's called Soul. 
like S-O-U. So what this longness basically does is depending on what the weight is, which I got a better picture here that I tried to clean. So basically look at that. So you can see the red part there where the blades are. Depending on what uh, the hexagon is placed on, that blade is more likely to pop out, I think, right? So if you have Sen, all the blades pop out. If you have only Retsu, I guess two of them will pop out. I, I, I believe that's how it works. I could be wrong. It's still a little bit hard to try to understand what that gimmick is, but I believe the hexagon just push on it. Now, the weight, we don't have a full image for it, or at least uh, I couldn't really find a good clear. It doesn't really matter. The weight is called so. Basically what it is is that um, it's really weird, so you can notice it's one on the bottom left and one on the top right. And the center there is sort of in the shape of the gen weight, but obviously no stopper. When I say gen weight, people are going to think there's a burst stopper. I believe what it's there for is maybe just to help with the balance and give it maybe some attack, I don't know. It's an interesting weight. I'm happy if they're going to do a new layer base. They're also going to give us a new tip and even a new weight. That's something I definitely support. Now the last thing I want to cover, because I don't want to like do some dumb thing where the videos extend in like 20 minute, 10 minute discussion, no. Uh, it's uh, just the extra stuff. So November, my I think November is a DX booster. This is now speculation. I believe it's a Valkyrie Evolution or a Dragon Evolution. I'm going with Valkyrie because every time there's a new system in a series, it's always going to be Valkyrie that's going to get it. You remember the Awakening system? Valkyrie got it. Chose the Awakening system. I think Valkyrie, because first off, Slash does suck. It looks cool, but it sucks. I think uh, Valkyrie's going to get a crazy revamp. Or maybe it's Dragon. Who knows? It's a DX uh, booster. Uh, the next one, we know that the 12th is going to have a balance type starter. Ignore the part where it says Gyro, that's just a translation. Uh, and there's going to be another random booster on the 12th. So November will be a dead month for Takara Tommy, right? But the interesting thing is this. B-157, we all know the name was Last Boss. And we knew it was a defense type. But now, the Volca Project updated with defense type Final Evolution. Now my theory on this one to leave off with, I believe it's Phoenix. Now hear me out. Phoenix was in the antagonist in the previous season, right? Okay. So, he was basically the last boss I got to go up against before he went up against Volk. He's like the last villain. So, wh why wouldn't it make sense? Because this final evolution there, unless it's wrong and then it just added there and it doesn't, nothing connects, why wouldn't Phoenix be like the last boss? Wouldn't, wouldn't that make more sense? Fi is an antagonist. Yes, he did kind of warm up to Aiga, but I think it'd make the most amount of sense. Or, it could be something else. I don't think it's Hydra. I don't know what they're doing. I don't think Poison Hydra is going to come in the anime. I think they just did it to do it, which is fine, I guess, but I hope I'm wrong. But that's what I'm going to leave off with. Who do you think the final bay is going to be? Do you think it's going to be a new bay or Phoenix? It has to be defense type, so let's keep that in mind. So that'll be it. What are your thoughts on the new Longinus? We'll probably get the full booster revealed pretty soon. What are your thoughts on Odin coming back? Let me know everything in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.